Wow, it's been almost 10 minutes. I can definitely feel a nice tingle to the skin and nice little tightness. Tere, welcome back everyone to my armchair travel adventures as we continue to explore Estonia. Well, Estonia has a long tradition of spa rituals dating back to the 18th century when royal families and tourists from neighboring countries will come to its shores to rejuvenate in its numerous health springs and take advantage of the curative mud and clean nature. Now the first mud establishment opened in 1820. Since then, Estonian curative mud is considered one of its most important natural resource. Overall, Estonians love to take care of themselves and they'll go to the spa saunas regularly, especially during the winter months. Now, some of the health benefits I read about Estonian curative mud was increased oxygen in the skin, rejuvenating the skin, helping with muscle tensions and joint aches and pains, and the list goes on and on. It's amazing. So for my armchair travel adventure, since you can't go to Estonia for their spa, we'll do what we can and create our own natural mud mask, shall we? <laughs> to make our own facial mask, I was able to pick up benzenite clay from our health food store. <laughs> and essentially this is an absorbent clay and it's really good for removing toxins from your skin, dealing with acne, blackheads, evening your skin tone, good for diaper rash and protecting your skin from the sun. I even read that some people ingest it for properties like weight loss, lowering cholesterol, that sort of thing. But to make our facial mask, really simple, I found a really nice recipe online. You will take about a teaspoon of the benzenite clay. You'll also use raw honey and an essential oil. So I'm choosing to use lavender. Okay, so we're gonna take a teaspoon the benzenite clay powder okay add that to some honey maybe the same teaspoon as well oh okay pick up honey <laughs> awesome and just about three drops of the lavender essential oil. Okay, looks good. All right, so we're just going to mix this together and just add some water to it just to thin it out a little bit. trying to you can really smell the lavender that's really rejuvenating so I read that honey is really good it sort of smooths on your skin I've not ever I've never tried um, making my own facial mask before so this is an experience I don't know how smoother it's gonna be but this is what it looks like <laughs> Okay, so let's try applying some of this. Oh. Oh. Mm. Feels 
really cool on the skin. It's nice and light. I love the smell of the lavender. Mm. Okay. So we're going to let this sit for 10 minutes. Let's see how rejuvenated I feel after this is done. <laughs> we'll be right back. Wow, it's been almost 10 minutes. I can definitely feel a nice tingle to the skin, and nice little tightness. We should do this again. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take a wet, a hot wet cloth and just take off the mask. Oh my goodness, my skin feels so soft. <laughs> Now the word in Estonia for all things beautiful is Kenna. <laughs> That's what I feel right now. Kenna, beautiful. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining me at that. And we'll see what we get up to tomorrow. Goodbye. Nagamist.